lot of soil samples that we see don't have all of the micronutrients on them. And if we've got all these essential elements needed to grow a crop, why would we not measure them and take a look at it? And I do see some tests that have zinc on, but I also see a lot of tests that are missing copper and iron and boron and some of these really important micronutrients. So when you're getting a soil test, find out what the cost difference is to just get the micros. Oftentimes it's gonna surprise you. It's only a couple bucks different. Just get the complete test. We really like seeing that regardless of which lab you use and regardless of which testing method they prefer. Yeah, and it's not just micronutrients. We wanna see, well, what do you have for soluble salts? What do you have for sodium? What are your base saturation numbers? How much organic matter is in the soil? There are a number of different measurements that will really help us figure out what's going wrong in this soil. So for example, I can usually look at a soil test and tell you if you have a poor drainage area or not. Well, that's really helpful in a lot of cases because I get it that we're focused here on nutrients. We've taken a soil test to identify what nutrients do we need, but if the root cause of the problem out in the field is poor drainage, well, that's something we have to look at. 